Next. For all those of you who were going to tell me that you're just one person, there's nothing that you can do, I think this says it all. That young man stopped 17 of the most dangerous killing weapons of war that have ever existed right in their tracks, and they didn't move again until he walked away. That's a real hero. He has not been executed yet. He is a real hero. He's the only real hero that I know in this whole world. In this whole world. That's him right there. He's Chinese. And most of us would say, here comes the chinks into the neighborhood. That man is my brother. I don't care who he is. And I hope that you learn that he's yours. His heart's probably bigger than all of ours in this room put together. But that's your answer when you come to tell me that you're only one solitary little person. There's nothing that you can do. This is our country. It belongs to the people. And we can do whatever we want to do with this country, but we have to do it together. I hope that we can all find a way to do that. If we could have the, I believe that's the last slide. If we can have the lights, we'll have some questions and answers. Our wives have questions, but I don't know how many answers. <laughs> The core of the Trilateral Commission is certainly Illuminati. The core of the Council on Foreign Relations is also, in many other groups, one of the tenets of the Illuminati is that they would not use their real name, they would never appear under their real name, but under different names and different occupations. This is historical fact. Yes. It doesn't make any difference, and I don't want to dwell on that. I believe that the future for my family and for my daughter and for my children is more important than my personal safety. I believe that this country is more important than my personal safety. And you have to understand that we wouldn't have this country if George Washington asked if he was going to be in danger, if he signed the Declaration of Independence or signed the Constitution or participated in the war against the king. There are some things worth dying for. And I believe that I found out what it is. No, I'm not afraid. Yes, I'm in danger, but I don't give a damn. Yes, Nancy. Yeah, we need to talk about that. One of the things that is bad about this country are political organizations. Because you tend to label yourselves and square off against each other instead of against the real enemies. For instance, I know many people in this room consider themselves to be right-wing conservatives. I also know many people in this room who consider themselves to be left-wing liberals. But I also know that in their heart, every one of those people believes in this country, believes in the Constitution of the United States, would never consent willingly to give up any of our rights under the Bill of Rights or under the Constitution. So therefore, this right-wing conservative, left-wing liberal is bullshit. They're really Americans, but they don't know it. They don't realize that they're just really Americans. Why label yourself something other than that? I'm an American, I'm a constitutionalist, because that's what this country represents. The Constitution is this country. Destroy it, and this country ceases to exist instantly. Therefore, I have no other political viewpoints, period. None other whatsoever. If it's allowed in the Constitution, I'm for it. If it's not, I'm against it, period. That's my political viewpoint. I would hope that it would be yours, because any other viewpoint is anti-American, anti-constitutional, anti-United States. 
I hope that if you think you're a white right-wing conservative, that you'll stop doing that. I hope that if you think you're a left-wing liberal, I hope that you will stop doing that. I hope that you will become an American again, because that's what we all started out as Americans, and all of a sudden we became something else. I'm black, whitey's out to get me. I don't want them blacks in my neighborhood. They're scumbags. They're Americans, folks. Pardon? I just did. No, no, I asked you specifically what, what has been done by the people who are interested in the project. Have the Senate been, you know, been contacted on that? The only thing that you can do is throw the people in Congress out. People, we've been telling you this over and over and over again for years. Somebody's not listening. attitude from anyone, but you have to get the professional politicians out of Congress, out of office, out of the presidency, out of the governorship, out of the state houses, and you have to send citizens who will truly represent us, who truly will do what's needed, and only send them for one term, and that's the only thing that's going to work. If you think you're going to change the minds of these people who are so ingrained into Well, it's not politics, it's, it's the destruction of this country. They're bent on it. If you think you're going to change their minds and all of a sudden they're going to start representing you, you're wrong. They're not. Yeah. I, I don't think I have time to go into it. The problem with the things that I talk about is there's never enough time to really talk about it. And I know that some of you are sitting there and you have questions and you want answers. And I can tell you that the answers are out there. Part of what needs to be done is you have to quit relying on people like me and others and help us. You have to become one of us who search and dig and educate. If all of you could go out of here and educate 10 people, each one of you, and then they could go educate 10 people, and it doesn't have to be in one day, you could take six months to educate those 10 people, and they could take six months to educate 10 people in a very short period of time. Everybody in this country would understand what our real problems are. The real problems are we're not paying attention. We're not running this country. We don't know what the problems are. We don't know what's going on. We've left our business and gone on vacation. We are fighting amongst each other while the real enemy is destroying the country. That's the real problem. We are. That's correct. Yes. May I suggest that everybody get a little copy of the Constitution? It takes about 20 minutes to read. And if you don't have one, if you write to me and send me a self-addressed stamped envelope with 50 cents on it, I will send you a copy free. Excellent. Yes, sir. When we went to press, I thought Oklahoma was the only state. It's actually in 22 states. Oklahoma is the only one I have the documentation on at this time. They have until March 15th to register all their property, everything, down to the VCR. Their knives, forks, and spoons, everything. If they don't, a tax man will be sent to their door with a warrant who will take inventory of everything in their home. Anything they find that was not declared on the list or if they never submitted a list, they will be taxed 20% over and above what they normally would have been taxed. But you see, taxation is just the excuse to register the property. For those of you who want to order a copy of my book, I'm not a salesman, I didn't bring books with me, I never do that. Um, I don't bring tapes with me, but we have them. Part of what I want you to do is get active. To get active, I'm not going to bring you the books or the tapes. If you want them, the order form is outside on the table. 
pick one up, write to us, we'll send you a packet of information if you order the book, send for the